What's up, folks? Kevin here, and uh, today Pam and I are gonna head out to Corpus Christi again to do some shopping. Maybe start kind of doing some uh, Christmas shopping, and uh, just look around. We need to pick up a few things, so of course, wherever we go, I'm gonna start hitting up some uh, spots to do a little toy hunting. So I will see you when we get there. Alright, so we're gonna get down. Alright, so we're gonna get down to Ross and check out, see what they got going on for the holidays. Place looks pretty stocked. Nothing that I really, really want, but they do have quite a bit here. A lot of games and puzzles, a lot of medals. It's pretty cool. It's a few pops. A lot of a lot of stuff. And here's a look at this. We got Red Ranger pop. Pretty sweet. This Deadpool potato head is actually kind of cool. I've seen a lot of people digging him. <laughs> and he does look neat. Oh, Mega Man Dorbs is nice. I couldn't dig it. Let's see. Oh, we still got some World of Warcraft toys. I don't think I need any. There's a couple different ones. Oh, look at here's a little jackpot of uh, pops, Valerian, Red Ranger. None I'm collecting either. But yeah, if you're looking for clearance pops, it's a good place to always find if you feel some. about it actually a couple more transformers not too bad these are cool these little DC Batman is really neat <laughs> those are if I get them any cheaper I probably would take them they are nice ghost in a shell pop <clears throat> another dorbs it's kind of cool Mr. Hound, everybody's already looking for. Yeah, look at that, Batman and Superman. Nice to have both. Hmm. Gears of War pop. Halo figure actually looks really cool with the armor. And a Star Wars, that is sweet. Another pop, lockjaw, definitely a must get. All in all, pretty cool here. So let's go on to the next door. It's a packed mall. Oh yeah. As always, Hot Topic is popping. We always like to check out uh, Rick and Morty stuff first. <laughs> they always got some really cool stuff. Definitely cool. Pickle Rick is always a winner. Some Rick Funkies. Look at this here. We got some pretty cool Pez dispensers. The little minis. I wish like Yandu was like a chase or something, I'd probably take it. <laughs> Let's 
some good ones. <clears throat> Pretty cool pops. It's glow in the dark. Move it, baby. So let's make our way. Make our way over here to the pops. a lot of the little vinyls and the pop section which they moved everything from the back to over here which is okay so those treasure boxes are nice and uh pretty good pop they always have like alice cooper always think about grabbing that one there's a flocked saga or something i'm not really too sure about it but it's flocked so that's cool I actually see a Chrome uh, Colossus, which is cool that they have that. That was some kind of exclusive. Very cool. <clears throat> Definitely one I would like to have. Some more Pez dispensers. I see this one at Walmart for like three bucks all the time though. So it's cheaper at Walmart. Some plushies. <clears throat> Another big pickle rick plush. <laughs> Looks funny. Very cool looking. I like this right here, Wonder Woman. That's nice and exclusive, con exclusive. Very nice looking. Very nice. I think we're going to end up picking up a few shirts here also to match for fun, just for the family. Let's see. This is a cool thing, those Spider-Man vinyls. And of course, best friends, Deadpool and Cable. <laughs> Quite a bit of stuff stashed over here. Stranger Things gotta love it, and it's some really cool. I like all these uh, Chucky blushes. That's cool. I want to get a Chucky keychain too, as well. Very cool. This one right here, the keychains are pretty nice. So I'd take Elvira and Chucky. Keep moving around though, the mall. All right, we're gonna go over here and get some food. Everybody wants Chinese food, so let's see what we're gonna find here. It's hard to get everybody to agree on one thing. <laughs> yeah, they do. You like it? Everything is so good. <laughs> yeah. Good choice. All right, first of all, I want to go ahead and show uh, my pet, my haul for the week, what I picked up. First one's going to be a gift from Rob802, really good friend of mine, fellow collector, fellow YouTuber. Make sure to go and check his channel out. I'll post it below on my description. He sent me this, I believe what it is, uh, Legends class, I believe, Transformer. And this is... Uh, bumblebee really cool looking it's kind of the size of the original g1 bumblebee i've already been playing with it but uh it's really cool transforms nice and easy which i need to be honest with you <laughs> so pop that out really quick a little flip over and boom nice and easy he looks really good like i said he has a real similar look to the original g1 which i like the the size is really good he also sent me this really cool Hot Wheels. I don't think I'll open it because I really like it. HW Flames. This is a 32 Ford. 
very cool looking figure. So I really appreciate it, Rob. Appreciate the gifts. Super nice of you to send. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Next I got is a early 90s Kenner. I believe this is the Nightcrawler. Or I think it's the Night Nightcrawler, something like that. And he's in really great shape. He's not complete, but I do have his mask. Which I think looks great on him. Apparently this, this weapon may belong to Ripley, so I don't have the weapon, the weapons for him, but I think he looks great though. I'm getting close to probably completing uh, series one of the Kenner Alien line. I might need a couple more, but uh, I need to dig them out to make sure of that. Also, I have a com just picked up a complete Mechanic, which I'm very happy to get. Oops, sorry about that, buddy. So he comes with the club. He's got his chest armor, and of course his neck. All necks matter. <laughs> All next matter. He looks good though. He holds his weapon well. Paint's pretty good. It's got a couple spots. So, but anyway, overall he looks wonderful. I'm gonna put his mask back on since I knocked it off. Alright, so that's those guys. Picked up a couple more figures. Let's go ahead and open those as well. Okay, I believe this is a 90s figure. And this is a, I think it's Shawn Michaels. I got him for like a buck on an auction, online auction. I think it's supposed to come with a belt and they didn't send me the belt, so I'm gonna have to contact them and see if they'll send that after the fact. But he's got the typical 90s articulation. He stands well. He looks well. Also, aside from those guys, the last but not least is going to be the massive Andre. Switch this around. Andre the Giant. He's standing a good uh, seven inches tall. He was a big man in life. And he's just an amazing wrestler. This one has great articulation. As you can see, it has the soft goods. Well, this isn't paint, uh, cloth, but soft plastic. And uh, I think this comes off. And uh, I love the head sculpt on this guy, the hair. My buddy Harry, Sandman PR Vlogs, has the newer Ultimate uh, for Machine. I can't remember what his wrestling name was when he wore this outfit, uh, the helmet. That one has, I think, the better sculpt. But this one's not bad. You can see it has abdominal articulation, upper thigh. Uh, articulation upper upper thigh upper bicep he's got the double the double knee the single elbow the hand is on a it's on a hinge but it swivels and hinges so it's got a lot of good movement the head's on a ball he moves really well despite the hair and uh you don't have any sideways movement on the ankles just up and back forward and back but I think overall he looks really good. So super happy to land him. So this is going to be the haul, guys. You can see I got Shawn Michaels, Andre the Giant, Mechanic, 80s MOT, MOT2. We've got a Hot Wheels, which is great. We've got a Leader Class Bumblebee, I believe. And here's some of the accessories that come with. This is going to be the haul, guys. This is Kevin the Tattoo Twinner reminding you never go up that hunt. Pew, 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 pew. Y'all take care. Yeah.